Good evening, good evening. Glad to have you guys here. Who else is there? Suraj. Suraj is joined. Suraj, are you there? Suraj Sagar. Put a hi there if you are around here. Good evening, Keval. Good evening. Prashant has joined. Prashant, are you around? Am I audible? Am I clearly audible? Voice is clearly reaching out. Put in the comments. If I can hear, if you can hear me. All right, Prashant. Great. Great. Sagar, are you around? Suraj. Yep. Fair enough. All right. So let's do today the complete removal and replacement. So one of the important topics, of course, all we are doing as a part of Cat Ninja series is some of the impactful topics only. So no whiling away time. So that's what we are kind of considering to do that. What because there are so many topics in quant and LR and GI, there are so many tiny bits of them. Some of them could be impactful if we can learn in the right sense, maybe uh, from the basic to the cat level application. If we do it in that particular fashion, naturally we can remember the concepts for a longer time in a better way. And the, with the good approaches, naturally we can save quite a bit of time when it comes to exam. Quickly to give a perspective about me, a little bit of background. Most of you would know me just in case somebody is watching this. Those who know, those who don't know me. So I am from a. Uh, I have worked in the test prep for about last 13, 14 years. 14 years since 2007 to 21. Yeah, 14 years with various capacities, both uh, in the management team as well as in the training team. So I was a part of both of them, and here are some of those credentials with them. And uh, I also developed for a period of time the expertise to train students in the area, in the area of quant, DI, and LR. That's a bit of uh, the background. And if you want to interface with me, so you can always reach out to me on this. And you can put a thought, put a chat out there, right? Yeah. So that's something that we can, uh, that, that you can interface. This one way that you can interface there. Uh, yes. Uh, Kaval, you are trying to ask me something. I gave a mock this evening and was able to solve a level three question of mixture. Oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> you are seeing the result. Good. Yeah, if you are able to apply it, good. Great. All right. So, quick announcements before we get jump start into the lecture. So, there are two types of subscriptions that Academy provides. One is the plus, the other one is iconic. Plus is more to do with the structured course, maybe about the weekly test or the courses or with respect to live classes with whom you get interface with three or four mentors, one from the verbal perspective, the quant perspective. So you'll be closely governed by some of those mentors. And the iconic, in the iconic, you get more personalized attention just in case you got stuck somewhere from that score. How do you unleash and move to the next score? Things like that, that will be addressed in the one-to-one -one counseling, which is done in the Iconic. It's more a personalized course. Naturally, a personalized course will come with certain premium, uh, with, with certain premium as well. So if you quickly look at this, so these are the subscription subscription amounts for the six months, 12 months, and 24 months. And on this, if you use the code BELVI100, so you don't get 100% discount, you get 10% discount. Can freely use this code whenever some somewhere the academy asks for a code feel free to use this code and that would be good for both of us yeah these are the iconic subscription fees iconic subscription fees on this as well you get 10 percent discount and technically you look for iconic subscription provided you are looking at personalized attention so then you look for the iconic course yeah all right so that's a little bit of little bit of understanding about the an academy the courses that are offered and a little bit of background about me so let's get started on this note. So what we'll do is first, let me give you. So first question comes there. Uh, let me add a slide. Let me add a slide. Couple of things. There are three to four things that you've got to remember when it comes to replacements. When it comes to replacements, number one, call it number one. So what is important? Number one is there will be two components here. There will be two components, say component X. Let me call it as milk versus water. Let's say there is a milk versus water. There will be two components. You may say that, say, what if there are three components? It doesn't work. Then we have to do it manually the way we learned in the high school. Anyway, I will do one question manually to illustrate what if the things are not having a pattern. If there is a missing pattern, then we have to end up doing it manually. There is less choice in the middle. Okay, so let's let's understand this milk and there is a water, two components. Now, what we do, or generally in a replacement, what happens is you remove something. And you add some uniform thing to it in the sense the initially what is given to you can be a milk plus water solution. 
it need not be pure milk it need not be pure water there is all it there is a container in the container there is a milk water solution so there is a milk also there is a water also not 100% pure milk it can be 70% pure milk 80% milk or 90% milk water solution don't know all it there is a milk water solution then what you do is hey, you remove something out of this you remove something out of this and then you put something into this now what you put into this should be either pure milk or it should be water either it should be pure milk or it should be thorough water you cannot say that i will put another solution into this i remove solution and then i put another solution into it then we may have to do it manually no if you remove solution what you are removing is definitely a solution but what you put back should be in the pure format that should be in the most pure format that is either it should be a pure milk or it should be a pure water let's say for example milk is the replacement material water is the replacement material so what you decided is you decided to dilute the milk water solution further so therefore you removed a cup of solution then you replaced it by a cup of water you poured a per cup of water into this what happens naturally it gets much more diluted then again it was not enough again you removed thoroughly stirred it you removed some solution out of it and again you put some water see my point is what is that i'm trying to say what you replace focus all right what you replace should be consistent these are the constraint these are the constraint here so did cat give most of the questions with this constraint yeah right nine out of ten questions on removal and replacement or the nine you can say 9.5 out of 10 right in case if you have 20 questions 19 out of them they maintain this consistency right there may be one odd question in which they did not maintain a consistency that's a different issue i'm looking from the majority perspective such minor ones we will do it on the plus so when i take the courses on the plus i will educate you about that because that will take us from 99 towards 100 right so that's a point or 95 towards 100 what we are doing is from the 95 perspective what all i should know all right that is the common minimum that i'm talking here okay coming to this replace all right what you are kind of replacing it by it should be consistent assume that it is the water what you are replacing i will repeat the story there is a milk water solution you remove some part of the solution but what you put back should not be another solution what you put back if it is another solution that is nothing but allegation right that is what we studied in the allegation what we put back is not another solution what we put back is a pure milk or pure water for example let us assume that it's a pure water what you are substituting by because you decided to dilute this milk water solution even further let's assume that okay so therefore so replace you every time replace consistently by water what do you mean by consistency word here first time you remove uh, removed solution put water second time you remove solution but put milk no you should not do that if first time if you have put water second time also it should be water it cannot be milk now you said that let me increase the concentration therefore let me put back water milk to it no that cannot be done in that case the method I all the limitations on the method if that is the case if the replacing now coming to the point listen to me very very carefully here coming to the point so if the replacing material is water you should focus on milk you should focus on milk that is point number one if the replacing material is water the focus should be on milk you may say that sir what if the replacing material is milk if the replacing material is milk what if what i'm replacing is milk then the focus should be water then the focus should be water if the replacing material is water if the replacing material is water then the focus should be on milk then the focus should be on the milk on the other hand if the replacing material is milk then the focus should be on the water it goes in the reverse order right it goes in a complementary fashion point number one all right this is the point number one and point number two what was the point number one point number one is which material you are adding has to be consistent in this case i took water to be consistent second thing if the water is being added to the system after removing if water is being added to the system then you got to focus on the complementary part that is you need to focus on the milk portion of it you should not focus on the water portion of it all right once i do that what i should be focusing on you said that focus on water you said this right in sense i said this i said that focus on water in what sense i should focus on water right that is the next question focus on the reading of the water next point number three you just have to focus on the reading what kind of reading look at the beaker you have a measuring jar in the reading all right you have to take the reading after removing after removing that will be the numerator you have to do take the reading after removing then you have to take another reading after adding or replacing replacing means you will add exactly what you removed or sometimes you may have to add more than that or less than that 
that's your choice after adding you take another rindi that you will write in the denominator this fraction is called as a cycle this fraction is called as a cycle that's it all right these are the only three points what is that number one look for the replacing material and while you are reading through the question ensure there is a consistency point number one point number two focus focus on the complement side of it immediately judge and focus on the complement side of it number three one what what i need to focus upon you need to focus only on the reading all right assume that this is put it in a measuring jar in the measuring jar look for the reading what was the reading after removing the liquid solution what is the reading after adding another solution these are the three points out there fair enough all right now who are all here can i quickly know your names who are all here akshata tried to join in between mohit has joined dimple has joined okay keval is here quickly quickly let me know who are the three or four of you out here very small meeting room quickly let me know who are all here on the platform quick 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 is it so difficult to type i am not sure if you are using laptop it will be very easy okay how many of you use laptop type l how many of you use laptop and how many of you use the desktop laptop and mobile how many of you use laptop between 3 4 of you if you type l if you are using a laptop if you are using a mobile phone type m that helps me to understand little bit okay okay well you use mobile but you are pretty fast in response okay it's good because laptop is always easy prashant you use laptop all right so anybody else who uses laptop and mobile quickly a survey quick survey who is using mobile if you are using mobile type m if you are using laptop type l okay akshata you use laptop all right yes mr awesome so your name was what something starting with yes right what was that I'm not able to recall okay good 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 mohit just switch to laptop good yeah laptop one thing is you will not have the digital fatigue as well so hard yeah so hard okay the idea with the laptop is what the fatigue is less you can work longer fatigue is less and also it will be more comfortable to respond right putting in the typing etc it will be much much more comfortable while you are trying to type in the response that's what i feel so some of you may be very very comfortable with mobile as well just like table uh, in this case right yeah any which way so let's get started so three points i made let's now try and understand how these three points can be worked out let us take couple of questions work it out with me let us be conscious about these three points that i spoke about let's read the question from a vessel containing 800 ml of milk milk means pure milk now don't try to question is it pure or not pure milk means milk if it is not pure they will mention right yeah 200 ml is drawn out replaced with water now look at the word what is getting replaced with first time replaced with water if the process is repeated one more time what do you mean by process repeated one more time 200 ml will be removed and again they will put the water what is the quantity of milk left in the vessel first i will do by high school method all right what is done or what is done in the high school why like that because what if the first time they replaced by water second time they replaced by milk your answer will change in that case you must have to do by the high school method there is no choice in the matter therefore assuming that happens what one out of 20 times one out of 20 times cat or any management entrance exam does that assuming that 20 times they give such questions one time they do that so from that perspective i should know the high school method i can't say that no i don't know it right from that perspective i should know let's now try and see that from that perspective is it making sense how what was taught in the high school they taught something like this milk on one side water on the other side now i'm teaching what was taught in high school then i will come to what has to be done in the cat let's then completely focus on cat because 19 out of 20 questions are more important to us than one out of 20 questions which can be handled later okay milk initially initially what has happened initially milk is 800 ml water is 0 ml then what happened 200 ml is removed when you remove 200 ml the entire 200 ml of milk would go therefore the reading would now become 600 ml then you added water to it replaced with water means you added 200 ml of water to this therefore this is the water which means at the end of one cycle you understand that the milk is 600 ml the water is 200 ml before the entire 800 ml was milk at the end of the first cycle the milk and water are 600 ml and 200 ml simple story high school story i'm telling you 
why this is required because if it is consistently if i don't replace by water i should know this because this is the way kind of this is the way quickly we will put it to perspective okay coming to the next one then what happened the process is repeated what do you mean by process is repeated 200 ml is again removed now the point is if i remove 200 ml will the entire 200 ml water goes no will the entire 200 ml milk goes no neither the entire 200 ml milk won't go 200 ml of water also does not go it goes in the ratio of that's all the point your high school teachers have said if you tell me hey, what was the point your high school teachers have said they said that it will go in the ratio of the available content that what is what is that it means to us now look at the milk water ratio milk water ratio is 3 is to 1 which means if you remove 4 liters if you remove 4 liters 3 liters of milk will go and 1 liter of water would go. It goes in that ratio because it's a very homogeneous mixture, right? What you have got here is a pretty homogeneous mixture and hence it will go in the ratio 3 is to 1. Fair enough, we are clear about this. Now, how many liters you are removing? 200 liters scaling factor. Hey man, it is not 4 liters, it is 200 liters. 200 liters means 4 into how much? Well, no, 4 into 50. So into 50 times, I will do this into 50 times, 150. I will do this into 50 times. This is also 50. Now you are trying to say that out of 600 liters, 150 liters of milk will go out and 50 liters of water will go out. Fair enough. So therefore, how much of milk is left now? Amount of milk left is 450. Amount of water left after removing 200 liters is 150. Then what author is saying? It will replaced by water. Replaced by water means 200 ml of water is what you are putting back. So and hence finally what is the milk? Milk is 450. This is the milk. Milk is 450 ml. Well, how much is the water? Addition of these two numbers which is 350 which is nothing but the water. This is the typical high school method what we learned. But this is not what we are trying to do here. No. I didn't teach you those three parameters from this perspective, but we know what has happened here, right? We know what has happened here. Now let's go back and understand this. Okay, only one statement what your teachers made, it's worth revising. What is this? When you remove the milk and when you remove a solution, when you remove a part of the solution, milk and water will go proportionally in the ratio of the composition. It goes in that particular ratio. Now, coming back to the CAT method, we call this as the concentration method concentration method what is that concentration of milk water all that stuff okay what is being removed here water is being removed now look at this what is being removed water is being removed therefore i need to focus on what i need to focus on milk i need to focus on milk what i need to be focusing on milk now reading on the milk reading on the milk means something like this there is a beaker here there is a jar initially how much you are saying you are finding 800 ml initially you are finding 800 ml but while writing the reading, what you need to focus, reading after removing. How much you removed here? 200 ml you removed. If you remove 200 ml, the reading will be now 600 ml. The reading will be 600, right? After removing, write it in the numerator. After putting back, which means you put back the water again. You put back the 200 ml of water again. Reading after adding water is 800. This is called as one cycle. One cycle means removing once and putting back once. That is called as one cycle. After removing, just take a look at the reading. The reading was 600. That, that you got to write in the numerator. After putting back 200, the water level went back to 800 in the jar. Just write it there. That's write it there. In this, all right, in this, in this solution, how much milk, how much water? That our question answer will tell. That answer will tell you don't have to bother manually about it. Okay, one cycle is done. Okay, what about the second cycle? As of now, the reading is 800. As of now, the reading is 800. Again, you removed. Again, the process is repeated. Repeated means what? You removed once again 200 ml, which means it will come back to 600 once again. It will come back to 600. And again, you are adding back 200. Therefore, it goes up to 800 once again. Two cycles are over. Now, this is nothing but concentration of milk. What is this fraction? This fraction is called as concentration of milk in the fraction form, which means if I say that 4 by 5 is the concentration of milk, if I say that 4 by 5 is the concentration of milk, just in case, I'm not explaining that. I'm explaining something else altogether to you. 4 by 5 is the concentration of milk, means percentage wise 80%. It is the 80% concentration. Fraction form of 80% is 4 by 5. Like this, now I got the fraction here. This is 203 times, 204 times into 203 times, 204 times. I simplified it. Therefore, the concentration of milk is 9 out of 16. This is called as concentration of the milk. Hey, I want concentration in percentage. Multiply this by 100. 
multiply this by 100 you will get the concentration of milk in percentage no 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 i want quantity of milk look at the question here i want the quantity of milk okay you know the concentration okay right 9 by 16 this is the concentration of milk concentration multiply the quantity available how much quantity is available 800 ml is available because this is your final reading your final reading was 800 multiply this by 800 okay 16 5 times 50 times 50 into 90 which becomes 450 450 is the milk that is what we got earlier also that is what we kind of noted down earlier also this is called as concentration method what i have to focus in the concentration method i simply have to focus upon the writing the concentration fractions that is one cycle in the first cycle reading after removal reading after replacement a second cycle reading after removal reading after replacement how many such readings do any number of readings this is called as concentration in the fraction form author may ask that no 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 i want concentration in the percentage form if you want in the percentage form multiply by 100 if they say that i want quantity of milk all right if you want quantity of milk multiply this by quantity of solution available multiply by the quantity of solution you know the concentration of milk multiply by the solution you will get the quantity of milk in that solution Fair enough, my friends. Did you understand this? Did you understand this? Concentration method is clear. This method is the concentration method. What we did on this particular side is the concentration method. This is what we are trying to learn. And we go deeper. This is very elementary what I did. Introduction I gave. I gave an introduction. Right? This can never be the cat question. It's an introduction to what we are going to do in the next couple of, I don't know, next couple of tens of minutes, whatever. It's an introduction good very good introduction is clear fantastic brilliant brilliant yeah okay so here we go let's take a look at another one now let's take a look at another one do it with me no problem do it with me so i will tell you how the corners i'll do it with me from a vessel containing 500 ml of pure milk 100 ml is drawn out and replaced with water first read the full question whether there is a consistency in the thought or not replaced by water if this process is repeated two more times, which means three times, in the sense, every time it is replaced by water, 100 ml is removed and it got replaced by water. Focus on the reading. What is the initial reading? 500. What is the solution? 500 ml is the solution. You removed 100 liters out of this. Write that. Hey, what I need, what I'm writing it for? Concentration of milk. That is the first thing. How do you know you are writing for concentration of milk? Because you are removing water. If you are removing water, attack its counterpart. What is the counterpart? Concentration of milk you can write. You can't write concentration of water. What you are adding is water. You can't write its concentration faster. Concentration of the counterpart can be written faster. That is nothing but concentration of milk can be written faster. Fair enough. Let's write it. Hey, what is the reading after removal? 100 ml is removed. Therefore, what is the reading here? Reading would be 400. Just to focus on reading. Reading after removal. Now, reading after replacement. What did you replace by 100 ml back? Therefore, reading after replacement back to 500 back to 500 okay, how many sub cycles two more cycles after removing 400 after replacement 500 after removal 400 after replacement 500 which means you are technically saying that 4 cube divided by 5 cube nothing but 64 divided by 125 what is this this is concentration of milk in the fraction form can i write it in the percentage form of course you can write there is absolutely no problem but look at the question hey what is the quantity of water left in the beaker now the water is wanting but what i'm getting here milk is what i'm getting from where do i get the water first let's find the milk first let's find the milk if i were to find the milk so i already have the concentration of milk multiply by what multiply by the amount of solution available you don't have amount of milk now what you have is solution milk is also there water is also there in the beaker amount of solution available how much solution is available 500 because this is the final reading where you stop is the final reading this is the final reading where you stop is the final reading fair enough let's do that 125 one time 125 four times all right 125 one time 125 four times which will become 256 ml hey what is this 256 ml milk but author is saying that tell me water man i don't want milk some people get excited and they will mark b as the answer wrong that cannot be the answer so how much of water is there water is nothing but solution minus milk in a solution if i know how much milk is there the rest is going to be water so that's what i do here how much is the solution solution is 500 ml final reading 500 ml how much is the milk in this milk is 256 therefore what about the rest of it now we are talking about the rest of it rest 100 and uh, rest 144 ml rest 100 and sorry not 144 it has to be what it has to be 244 ml 
remaining 244 ml has to be water if 256 is the milk the remaining 244 has to be water you may have to change this answer option to 240 244 that is going to be the water is it making some sense clear everyone clear everyone clear everyone clear no cable no i'm coming to it hang on man hang on hang on hang on no your question is initial quantity before replacement is always equal to quantity right no no not necessarily i will come to it type one i did type one i did which will never come in cat it should not if it comes good we are happy finish in 10 seconds and 20 seconds and go on right yeah it's a type one type level elementary i'm setting the plot form i'm just setting the plot form i'm setting the plot form we'll go we'll go to cat question hang on we'll go there what cat does we will go there this is not what cat does you know that all right i will always set the plot form before we rock that's important right mm, good all right so i i guess i guess everybody's clear on this now let me go little deeper to the thought now i'm going little into the cat type. now i'm getting into the cat type basis set now let's understand that how i will apply the concentration method on the cat type question fair enough let's now go there now the real journey begins right first leg of the layer journey begins now take a look at this from a container containing 40 liters of pure milk five liters are drawn out and replaced by water okay from this mixture, 8 liters are drawn out and replaced by water. From this mixture, 4 liters are drawn out and replaced by water. Now the question is, what is the quantity of milk left in that container? Now it has become a thorough solution. So therefore, how much of milk is left there? Second one, what do you think is the concentration of milk in this? Anyway, concentration will get in the fraction form. I can always tell in the percentage form. He wants percentage form. Multiply by 100, you will get the percentage form. No worries. Okay, do this one last question with me. Next question will be for you. Understand this completely now. Next question, I will put the timer and I expect that you will crack that next question. From the cask containing 40 liters. So you have the container, initial concept, initial quality quantity, because all I'm interested in what? Quantity. How much? 40 liters. Reading is now showing 40 liters. Reading after removal. How much did I remove? 5 liters I removed. What happened? Oh, okay yeah okay read the other quantity after removing just a second yeah so okay you removed how much here five liters therefore reading after removing how much it now reads 35 liters right first cycle so you need to focus on what you need to focus on milk how you are focusing on milk replaced by water replaced by water replaced by water replaced by water every time if you are replacing by water there is a consistency in the way we are looking at it so therefore i can focus safely on milk I form, I'm focusing on milk. Real reading after removal, 35. And then what did you do? Replace. Replace means how much ever you have drawn out, that much you are going to put back. That is the meaning of the word replace. Therefore, 40, 35, and 41 cycle. What about the second cycle? Now back to 40. Now the reading is here. Reading is back to 40. You are back to 40. After this, he's saying that now I'm going to remove 8 liters. Fair enough. If you remove 8 liters, the reading would be 32 liters. You are down to 32 liters. Reading after removal, 32 liters. Reading after replacement, the word is replace. Replace means how much ever you are removing, you are putting back that much. So therefore, it becomes 40. It would become 40. Third parameter, the mixture is now formed, whatever. It's back to 400. It's back to 40 now. Four liters are drawn out. All right. If the four liters are drawn out, then the reading would look something like 36. The reading would be 36. And then again, you replace. Therefore, it becomes 40. What is this now? This is the concentration of milk. This is the concentration of milk in the ratio format. All right. Let me simplify this. All right. Now, this is five. Sorry. This is seven times. This is eight times. This is four times. This is five times. Eight, four and eight, five. This is nine times and this is 10 times, right? So this is that these are the kind of numbers right, that you kind of have. This is four one time. This is four two times. If you want to write it in the perspective, nine into seven, you have 63 divided by 100. This is the fraction form. This is the concentration of milk in the fraction form. But author said that, man, please tell me in the percentage form, it you become 63%. Simple 63 by 100 is what? No conversion, nothing is required, 63%. First question, find the quantity of milk left in the cask. Therefore, okay, how much milk is there? You know the concentration. Multiply the concentration by the final quantity. Finally, how much milk was there? It was back to 40. Therefore, multiply this by 40. You will get the requisite answer. This is 22 times, 25 times. All right, therefore, this would be nothing but 126 divided by 5. Right, 126 divided by 5, which would become so 
to 25.2 liters of milk is left out of 40 liters at the end very simple everybody got the perspective can i get a quick response from each one of you all of you got the clear perspective on the concentration method even if the numbers keep changing how the concentration method works is this clear you got the clear perspective on this it's very powerful concentration method is very powerful very simple method you just need sufficient exposure to cat level questions that's it good good very good very good brilliant brilliant okay good yeah fantastic very good akshita very nice very nice good yeah so all right welcome dean dayal has joined vivek has joined guys join on time it will be very encouraging if you join on time because now i'm got into the cat level questions the basics have been done any which way you can follow me you can follow the discussion okay here we go to the next one i put the timer this is your time try to do this having done the first three questions giving the complete basics okay now you let me know what is the answer to this question i will give you a good two minutes time two minutes is good enough for this question practice go ahead take two minutes crack this question two minutes is big time but i'm not pressurizing you crack it all right okay quick 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 15 more seconds you can use the poll you guys can use the poll you can put the answer in the poll mm -hmm. all right yeah do it with me do it with me okay some of you got got the right answer some of you good good very good just follow the reading just just we said the numbers are changing doesn't matter okay well now this will answer your question man this question will answer because initially you asked me something will the initial and final remain same not necessarily look at this question so there is a 700 ml milk 100 ml is removed and 400 ml of water is added okay and then next what is added water is being added that's what we what is getting added to the system is important here right yeah next 200 ml of the solution is removed and 400 ml of water is added so what is the add getting added into the system it is consistent water is getting added into the system that is pretty consistent out there fair enough now let's understand this listen to me very carefully so initial reading in the beaker initial reading in the beaker is 700 ml this is the initial reading initially the reading looks like 700 ml there is 700 ml of milk okay so i need to focus on milk i'm writing the concentration of milk why because water is getting added into the system as a replacing material therefore i will focus on the milk fair so what is the reading of the solution you will not write the reading of milk what you get output is what the concentration of milk but what you go through the system the what you write through the system is only the readings that's it okay you removed 100 ml first is always removed you removed 100 ml what is the reading now 600 write it first cycle after removing it is 600 ml 
how much water you added now 400 ml of water is getting added to the 600 you are adding 400 therefore what will be the reading now 1000 therefore the reading would become 1000 because reading was 600 the beaker reading was 600 you poured 400 ml of water therefore what is the reading will be the reading would look now look like a thousand ml it will go up to 1000 ml this is where it will show right it would be at 1000 at the end of the first cycle fair enough. Now coming to the second cycle, then what he did, next 200 ml of solution is removed. Out of 1000, now you are at 1000, 200 ml gets removed. So therefore, what would be the reading? Reading would be somewhere like 800. So after removal, the reading would look like 800. Fair enough. Then how much you are adding now? 400 ml of water is getting added. You add 400 ml to 800 because now the reading is 800. You are adding 400 ml to this. The reading now looks like 1200. It will go back to the 1200, which will be the final value. The final value here is nothing but 1200. That is the final reading and the problem is over. Once it is reading 1200, now the problem is over. Fair enough. Let us simplify this. Therefore, what you would say here, 203 times, 205 times, right? This is 402 times and 403 times. So three and three cancel. If I write two by five, this is the concentration of milk. Two out of five portions is the concentration of milk. In other words, milk is 40% concentrated. It is a 40% concentrated milk solution. But author is saying that, man, I want water. I want water. How much water is in the solution? Write the concentration of water. What is the concentration of water? Therefore, three out of five. Three out of five. Because total is five portions. This denominator five is to total is five portions. Milk is two portions. Then water is how much? Water is remaining three portions. If I want water concentration, three out of five. That is the water concentration. But I want quantity of water. If you want quantity of water, concentration of water into final reading, not the initial reading. Because finally, how much milk, how, how much solution is there? That matters to us. Finally, how much solution is there? 1,200. 1200 final reading will come here 1200 ml of the solution is there multiply this by 1200 right therefore you say that hey this is nothing but okay this is nothing but the other one 240 5 1 time 5 2 40 times 240 into 3 which would become 720 ml that is the amount of water available rest is nothing but the milk there hey did you all get this everybody clear about this this is what i'm talking about this is what i was introducing you to this is the actual one what we are trying to do here not same thing removed, same thing added, not like that. It's a concentration method, right? This is what you mean by the concentration method. Everyone comfortable? Everybody comfortable? All good? Very nice, very nice, very nice. What you are trying to ask, sir, when 200 is removed, 800. What 200 removed 800? Yeah, because it was 1000, no? What is the step one? This is the step one. After you remove, listen, listen, after you remove, all right, step one. Step one is how much you will see the reading as 600. Then you add, then you added 400 ml. This is the reading. This is the second reading. Then again, you remove, this becomes the third reading. You remove 300, 300 200 ml from this 1000, it will become the third reading. This is the fourth reading. Clear? clear that is how the reading pattern is going remove add remove add you should know that before you removed what was the reading focus on the reading focus on the reading that's it you just have to focus on the reading okay pretty simple technique yeah first let's get hang of this mm. okay okay now let me introduce this now let's write this portion right so read this question you will understand that how this is little different from what we did so far how this is little different from what we have done so far. Hmm. Okay, the what is different? Difference is in the beginning itself. What is given to me is not pure. So far, whatever was given to me was pure, right? Whatever was given to me was pure. Now you suddenly realize that what is given to me, correct, 800 liters is given to me, but whatever is given to me is also a solution. It is not in the pure form. It is already in the diluted form because it's a 75% concentrated milk. Fair enough, let me see, is there a consistency in what we are doing? Water is added, right? Now next one, 10 is removed, 40 liters of water is added. Next one, all right, now again, water is added. Every time water is added. Therefore, let me focus on milk. Fair enough. Let me focus on milk. Milk, what concentration of milk? So if you are looking at the concentration of milk, first of all, even before you write the reading, 
reading later or right, driven before you write the reading if something is not pure something is not pure go back and understand write the initial concentration this is the type 3 this is the type 3 or right, type 2 was what or right, type 2 was whatever we were doing little before this was type 2 i will brand this as type 2 all right, this was type two. Why you are removing different thing and adding different thing for some people? Those who don't know the method, this itself would be a lot confusing. This itself can create a lot of confusion. Man, what is trying to happen out here? Now I'm coming to type three. What is type three? The initial concentration need not be in the pure form, and people falter. The moment that happens, they will again resort back to some method of doing it manually, etc., etc., something like that. Nevertheless, doesn't matter. Write the initial concentration in the fraction form. You may say that why fraction form, sir because the whole problem you are doing in the fraction form so right from the beginning why don't you write everything in the for fraction form you better write that in the fraction form fair enough let's try this from the class containing 80 liters that 80 liters is the reading part that 80 is the reading part this is the reading part let us keep that aside that reading part we will keep it aside that is the reading part that is 80 liters is the reading part concentration part it's a 75 percent concentrated milk 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 water solution 75 percent is the concentration of milk what is the 75 percent 75 by 100 you can write 75 percent means 75 out of 100 you may say that i will write three by four sir please write it i'm just saying that from the perspective i'm writing it like this 75 percent 75 by 100 now what now focus on reading that is it write the initial concentration what did i write here i simply wrote the initial concentration right initial concentration because it was not pure i chose to write in the fraction form because the entire problem i'm going to solve in fraction form therefore i wrote the concentration there fair enough now come to the reading there was 80 liters how much did you remove 20 liters are drawn out if you remove 20 liters the reading becomes 60. i'm not saying that this 60 is milk this 60 is not milk it's a reading the most beaker in the beaker 60 liter solution is left now that is the reading remove reading after removal 60 how much you are adding now 30 liters you are adding to 60 if you add 30 the reading will jump back to 90 or right, it would jump back to 90 one cycle is complete second cycle from here 30 liters of water so from here 10 liters are drawn out 10 liters are removed from 90 then it would become 80 80 10 liters are removed 40 liters of water is added to 80 you are adding 40 liters then it will go back to 120 it would go back to 120 that is the second cycle is complete then 30 liters are drawn out 30 liters you are drawing out from where from 120 from this 120 you are removing 30 liters if you remove 30 liters you will be back to 90 liters you are back to 90 liters then 20 liters of water is added if you add 20 liters to this it would now become 110 liters right 20 liters are added 110 liters fine what is this now this is the concentration of this is the concentration of milk in the solution okay two questions i will ask okay hey, what is the quantity final quantity of solution put it in the chat what is the final quantity of solution now how much solution we have at this stage what is the final quantity of solution now which means the entire thing is done there is a beaker reading what is the final reading very good 110 yeah that's important because you might have started with 80 liters doesn't mean that you end up with 80 liters it depends on the process how much you are adding how much you are removing it depends on the process how much you are left with all calculations has to be done on the present reading present means what is the final reading that you have anything that is asked here fine first one find the ratio of milk to water in the in, the, in that particular mix all right in that particular jar ratio of milk to water first let's simplify this this is three by four this is three by four next one this is two by three next one this is also two by three 80 by 120 next one nine by three. right let's simplify some of them so three three cancel this gets cancelled with this this is three three times now you are trying to say that the concentration of milk is three out of ten this is the concentration of milk 30 percent it has come down to 30 percent right it has come down to 30 percent now he's saying that he wants the ratio of milk to water please don't write three is to ten this is the ratio of milk to total right this has become sorry this is what 11 right yeah thank you yeah this is 11 3 by 11 yeah 3 by 11 3 by 11 which is nothing but 27.27 percent okay nevertheless question is what is the ratio of milk to water don't write three is to 11 that is milk to total when you want milk to water when you want milk to water out of a total if three portions is milk the remaining eight portion is the water therefore milk to water ratio is nothing but three is to eight okay yeah i hope all of you got this perspective it is clear my friends it's clear that's correct cable what you said is right what you said is right 
your understanding is correct good good very good yeah find the quantity of milk left in the cask someone tell me what is the answer type it find the quantity of milk left in the cask how much milk is left in the jar how many liters of milk is left how many liters of milk is left very good 30 liters 30 liters because you have to multiply this 3 by 11 by what final reading what is the final reading final reading is 110 this you already told me already this is the question i asked in the beginning final reading is 110 therefore the answer amount of milk is 30 ml i think with this probably you might have got the complete control or hang of the concept now let's do some of the cat questions and we will get that mileage and we will stop yeah here comes your question you do this my friends all of you do this i will give two minutes solid two minutes i expect answer from each one of you go ahead give me the answer to this i give good two minutes get me the answer two minutes is too much a minute is enough anyway i don't want to put you under pressure Quick, finish it one more minute. Finish, everybody type in the answers, everybody put the answers. Good, good. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Here is the board, and this is what has done. About six of you have given the answers here. Very nice. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. In between, Jayit also has joined and gave some answer. Who else has joined? Yeah, good. Dean Dayal has given some answer. Fair enough. Let's see here. 100 ml of 75. I hope all of you got this. 100 ml of 75 percent milk water solution initially all right now milk water solution solution is removed and water is added again the second time water is added two times it has happened two times the water is added find the ratio of milk to water in the solution fair enough let's understand this very very similar to the previous question first focus on this 75 percent which is three by four this is the initial concentration because we are writing the concentration of the milk in the fraction form okay i will do it mentally now let me not draw the diagram beaker etc 20 liters is removed out of how much 100 20 liters is removed out of 100 therefore what is the re reading of the removal 80 so now you are stuck at 80 right you are at 80 how much you are adding to this 40 you are adding to this to 80 if you are adding 40 it would become 120 because in the exam you don't draw beaker and all you don't draw beaker draw all this you know for time speed distance for all the questions you don't keep drawing the diagram that's only to explain don't get carried away by the explanation and what you do are two different things right you will carry the things in your mind you are very comfortable with the targets you are very comfortable with the topics right and then you put a lot of things on the autopilot mode when you start drawing the diagram speaker etc is when you don't put the things in the autopilot mode when the things are in the autopilot mode things just naturally work all right you know which numbers to work which numbers you are writing which numbers you are writing and removing it all comes there fair enough 
Now, where am I? I'm at 120. What am I doing to this 120? 10 liters of solution is removed. 10 liters removed means 110. What am I doing to this 110 now? I am at 110. What am I doing? I'm adding 15 liters of water to this. Final reading becomes 125. 110 plus 15. Final reading is 125. If I simplify this, I will be getting the I will be getting the concentration of milk in the ratio format. Fair enough. Let me simplify. I'll let this is 42 times, 43 times. Okay. Yeah. So any which way, this three and this three also get cancelled. Therefore, you say that this two and this is two and this two goes with 55 times. Ultimately, you have 55 by this, which if you write in the fraction form, which is nothing but 11 divided by 25. You have something called as 11 divided 11 11 divided by 5 right 11 divided by 25 did i make any mistake no right okay 11 divided by 25 fair enough but what author wanted author wanted the ratio of milk to water he doesn't want milk by total milk to water milk is 11 portions total is 25 portions therefore the water is remaining 14 portions milk to water answer is nothing but 11 is to 14 i hope oh, everybody is getting the hang of this now so by now everybody should be comfortable all of you are comfortable can i assume that you are all very comfortable now can i assume that you are all comfortable i didn't draw the beaker etc etc not required because we know that we are writing concentration to fraction form is this clear Okay, don't assume that I created this paper. While creating, I just took milk, water, milk, water for the study. Now, don't think that in the exam, it should be milk and water only. Suddenly, the milk and water got chained to some other commodities. Don't stop. Method is same, right? And every time I'm replacing by water, just to teach the method. The idea is not to confuse with water, milk, all that, no, that is all that. It's not about that. Idea is to drill the concept down deep. And some of them are cat questions. I just changed every cat question to water milk. They, are, they use something like spirit, wine, all that stuff. I just changed some of them into the milk and water just to drive home the same point that, okay, I need to be consistent in my thinking. What is getting removed? What is getting replaced? I need to be consistent there. I'm more worried about the method. How do you write the figures in the concentration method than the elements themselves? The elements are spirit or is it wine? Is it water? Is it milk? More than the elements, we need to be clear about what are the approaches. Therefore, I change those everything into water and milk consistently. And every time water is getting added, just in the exam, you see something else getting added. Something is happening. No need to panic. It remains same. My points will remain same. Okay, I hope all of you got this hang of this. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, today we are done for this, done with this. Not, not the lecture, not the lecture, not the lecture. Tomorrow I will be on the YouTube, right? Tomorrow I will be on the YouTube at 2 p.m. with the LRDI. That's for tomorrow. All right, DI and LR. That's what we'll be doing at 2 p.m. And then LR or DI, all right, we'll do one of the concepts there. And again at 10 p.m. in the night, we will be doing it on the YT. All these, both of them are going to be YT lectures. And I'll be doing a strategy session in between somewhere about 6 p.m. Somewhere about 6 p.m. I'll be doing a strategy session. If you are preparing for CAT and along with this CAT, you are preparing for NMAT or SNAP or any of these exams. If you are preparing for these exams, I will tell you how to squeeze in the tests between CAT mocks and NMAT mocks and SNAP mocks. How we should handle this judiciously, right? With wisdom. How do we handle this wisdom based on my experience of 14 years? I will try and give some inputs out there, right? Yeah. I will try and give some input that is called as the strategy session with respect to this because next three months are crucial because NMAT comes pretty early. First round of NMAT kind of comes pretty early. People get stumped. I'm stuck between the CAT mock and the NMAT mock. How should I take this up? So I will speak a little bit about it. Right? That is about the strategy session. So these are the three lectures planned for tomorrow. That's for tomorrow. Okay, if you have liked it, probably after this, give a feedback. All right, don't 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 hesitate. A lot of people all right, when it is positive, making the right impact, they will not share it in the feedback form. I rather suggest because I'm the person, if you are doing well, I will always pat your back and say that you are doing fantastic. Right. So that's that that should be the virtue. It is not that or we do only the uh, give a critical feedback, but not when some things are good, we don't do that. It has to change because some of you are going to become good managers, the leaders in the society, leaders in the companies. Always develop that attitude of calm, attitude of all it now, uh, uh, attitude of giving the compliments to the people that is what is very important i believe right rather than reprimanding people every time everybody does mistake 
So always complimenting for a good job is a very, very important virtue when you try to grow to become a good leader. That's very important there. So at the end of the lecture also, I'm encouraging that if you like this something, content is good, the way we are discussing is good, it's making sense. That comment, it will take about just what, 30 seconds? In 30 seconds, you can feel all of it. Nevertheless, let's go back to the cat question. Okay, here we come. All right, answer this now. A little bit variety from the cat. Concepts are all clear, concepts are done. Let's do a couple of cat questions and we are through. Yeah, a couple of cat questions, we are through. Yeah, here we go. Take two minutes. I'll give 90 seconds because that should be good enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. What happened? Why none of you are answering? What happened here? Already the form has changed. Okay, do it with me. Do it with me. After this, you can solve from your material whatsoever that you have. Now let's understand this cat question. This is the cat question as it is. Okay. Uh, Dean Dayal, you are trying to say your class is very entertaining, uh, knowledge enriching. You mean to say that entertaining in a sense that you are enjoying it, also learning. First, give me that con confirmation. Entertainment means I don't want to look like a joker here. That's not the way. So let me reconfirm because when you guys use some words, it can mean something else as well. So something has to be changed. I will change. Right? You mean that, okay, it is full of life and you are learning. That is what it means. Then it is good. So you meant otherwise, let me know, right? Something has to be changed. I would definitely change, right? Yeah, entertaining also already means a lot of things. I'm still hoping that this, you commented this from the perspective of learning. Am I right? Can I assume that? No response. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I will take it as a positive in the positive sense. No, no matter. Yeah. A can contains pure milk, five liters uh, of, that's right, cable. Five liters of milk is removed and replaced with water. This process is repeated once more, right? This is repeated once more means it is getting replaced by water. You better focus on concentration of milk. At this stage, the ratio of water and milk is 15 is to 17. Now listen to this, water, milk, Total in the morning, in the toilet, when the toilet, no, in the morning, when we talked about the ratios class at about 12 ish in the afternoon, when we did the ratios class, I said that there is always a tacit one called as a total. That's always there in the back of our mind, right? Okay. So now it's saying that the process is repeated once more. So, in the sense, what is that finally what happened? Water was 15 portions, then the milk is 49 portions, then the total was 64 portions. Therefore, if I ask you what is the concentration of milk? It is 49 out of 64. This becomes the concentration of milk. If I ask you, tell me, man, based on this information, 15 is to 49, what is the concentration of milk? Concentration of milk in that case becomes 49 by 64. Now, okay, I'm supposed to be writing the concentration of milk. 
now he is asking what is the question hey what is the present all right now find the amount of milk present in the flask in the beginning in the beginning it's a pure milk in the beginning how much was there i don't know i will say that the initial reading is x initial reading i will say that i had a beaker right say that i have a beaker in this beaker the initial reading is x x liters initial reading is x liters how much did you remove 5 liters you removed if you remove 5 liters what is the reading now the reading will become x minus 5 I don't know what is the x. So x minus five it would become. So therefore initial reading. Therefore reading after removal x minus five. Reading after replacement. Replaced means you added back five liters. If you add back five liters, you will get x back again. You will get x back again. This is called as one cycle. This again repeated. It went back to x again. That fellow removed five liters. Therefore it becomes x minus five. Again, that fellow added five liters. Therefore it becomes x. Now he is saying that hey, what is this you wrote there? Which means you wrote x minus five. By x whole square. This is what you wrote here. Say what you wrote here is fine. So what is this equal to? Author is saying that this is the concentration of milk. Author is telling concentration of milk is 49 by 64. Concentration of milk is 49 by 64 because the milk proportion is 49 units out of a total. Concentration is always milk out of total becomes concentration of milk. Water out of total becomes water concentration. If you write the water by milk, it is called as a ratio. It is not a concentration. When you write water by milk, what should I call it as? Simply call it as a ratio. Don't call concentration, etc., etc. Okay. Now this is what the this is what author was trying to check because you used to write the concentration like this. Fair enough. You wrote this. This is the concentration. Author said that because there is a variable, I will give you the number. He gave the concentration figures. Fair enough. Square root. Take the square root on both the sides. Therefore, x minus five. By x will become seven divided by eight. Take the positive value because the value of x cannot be negative. Therefore, take the positive value. Then you will get the positive answer. You may say that, sir, is then this value be plus or minus seven by eight? Correct. But if you take minus seven by eight, you end up in the negative answer. Therefore, take the positive one there. Okay. Therefore, you say that x is equal to forty. Therefore, you say that x is equal to forty. What is this x? Initial capacity of your beaker. That is what is x, which becomes forty. Did you understand this, my friends? Did you understand this? This is the cat question. One of the cat questions. I'm not saying this is the cat question. One of the cat questions, because we used to write the concentration, right? Sometimes the beaker reading itself can be unknown. The initial reading can be unknown because it it is not necessary that every time the reading should be known. What if it is not known? Take it as x and proceed. Take it as x and proceed. Confirmed. All good. All good. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Here comes another cat one. Very good. Another cat one. Superb, superb guys. Very nice. Yeah, comes another cat question. Very good, very good. Yeah, another cat question. Here comes another cat question. Take another ninety seconds on this. Hmm. Okay, all right. Some answers you have mentioned in between. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's take a look here. First of all, so what is this number seventy and ten point five doing? Listen, all of you, listen. Beautiful cat question. What is this seventy and ten point five doing? This is fifteen percent of seventy. 
right? If you understand this, this is what? This is 15% of 70. 10% of 70 is nothing but, okay, you may say that, okay, is that important there? No, you will remove the reading and you will write and ultimately you have to write the fraction form, right? So you will say that, okay, initial reading, re reading after removal, what you will say, 70 minus 10.5, right? You will write this as 59.5. 59.5 divided by reading after replacement. How many times you should do? Some n times you should do. After doing this, what the n, these are the answers for n. Because how many such cycles, first time, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, I don't know how many times, right? N times you should do. If you do this N times, all right, know how much the concentration should fall below 60%. You should get the concentration to fall. Concentration of milk should fall below 60%. This is the concentration of milk, all right? Concentration of milk after N cycles, technically after N cycles. That is what you are trying to say. Okay, what is 59.5? In fact, it is easy to check. What is 10.5, 15%? If 15% is gone, 80 85% is left. You can say that this is 85 by 100. Technically, you may say that 85% is left. It is as good as saying this. About 85% is left there. Right? We can say we can say that about 85% is left. 85% is nothing but what? 17 divided by 17 divided by 20. Which means this particular fraction, whichever way you want to do that calculation, please do it. Don't mind too much about it. So these things will come automatically once you understand a little bit about percentages. 17 by 20. You can write this 59.5 by 70 as 17 by 20 raised to power n should be less than 60%. This is what we are talking about. This should be less than 60%. You may say that, sir, can I write 60% also as 3 by 5? Write it fraction form, decimal form. That should not really matter much, whichever way. Yeah. So now what I should do for n? So you have to go by the choices or just look at the numbers. Numbers are at least small. Therefore, okay, you can take courage to do them manually. 17 square, you will know. First, let me do it two times, 17 square by 100. Because three times I cannot do, two times let me do 17 square by 20 square. 17 square by 20 square, first time. Well, the first thing that you do is what? 17 square by 20 square. That is two cycles you did. Okay? You did two cycles. Then you are doing 17 square by 20 square. Let me write this fraction form or percentage form, doesn't matter. You say this, this is 289 divided by 400. Of course, if you want the percentage form, multiply this by 100. So you will get that then it is very, very closely equal to 72%, somewhere close to 72%. Target, target is 60%. I am not looking at 72%. Once more, let me do. So once more, let me do, which means 17 square is 289. Take it as 290, my friends, that's okay. So I can write this as 290 by 400. If you are doing it mentally, decided not to use a calculator. In some exams, calculators are not allowed, like IFT, etc. Then how do you do? This is how you will do. There is a 289. 17 square is 289. Can I take it as 290? Please take it. Please take it. Take 290. 290 by 400. 17 square by 20 square. Write it as 290 by 400. Life is little sorted. Okay. Once more. Now I am taking the value of n is equal to 3. Because 2 times means square was done. Once more means another time 17 by 20. I am doing it another time 17 by 20. Fair enough. All right. Now let me calculate this. What does this become now? So you say that, okay, this gets cancelled. 29 into 17. All right. That is nothing but um, 510. Uh, 510 minus 17. Right. Okay. That would become 493 divided by 800. 800 if you want it as a percentage you will divide by 100 you will multiply by 100 okay this becomes what eight six times or eight, 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 eight seven times eight six times 48 then you have three which means it has now become 61 point some percentage but it is not still less than 60 fair enough therefore i will do four times because three times was 61 point some percentage right i'm still getting it as very close to 62 percentage this is becoming 61 point some percentage but author said i want below 60 man below 60 man so you got to repeat this operation once more so therefore the choice would become c are you getting this everyone clear on this question clear on this question very clear how we can do some approximations as well because sometimes if the calculator is not there sometimes writing 289 as 290 is a wise decision right you got to learn to write them deliberately you got to learn to write them. important because it's not that in every right yeah hmm. very good all right all right yep hmm. somebody is surprised who is surprised is this clear it's a very simple question yeah these are all one minute questions, one, one and a half minute questions. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Good. All right. That brings to the end of the lecture on this particular premise. So I will see you tomorrow or uh, at uh, tomorrow at two o'clock with the LRDI and then the strategy session around six in the evening. 
and then night 10 we will be doing a quantitative one all right now look at the youtube you will be getting it getting those lectures but at the end of it before you get in there all right before you go there so you put that like or whatever it is put your comments etc i will see you there okay good night and then those who are those who want to listen to the closure comments these are the closure comments and if you have any suggestions wait till i finish the closure comments i will wait for you for a minute or two you can give me some suggestions or something something that you want to share it with me this can be the time you can share it just after the lecture i will wait for a couple of minutes you can share there okay yeah so 25th that is today three batches have been launched three batches have been launched one for cat 21 one for cat 22 and the other management entrance test and image cet and these are some of the finest educators are taking these particular courses you can take a look at them if you're on the plus platform you can join some of those courses which will be structured and would definitely help you there in your preparation one-to-one -one live mentorship program some of the uh, some of the people who converted the top IUs, how they prepared they will try and sit with you and try to do one-to-one -one counseling they try to understand your SWOT and try and tell you how it has done some of the mentors also sit with you that is what happens with cat iconic not just that only these i am uh, those who have got into the i am would sit with you some of the senior mentors also might sit with you and they will guide you one-to-one -one counseling right yeah so that's that's what happens there on the cat iconic and limited edition offers especially if you're looking at cat 22 or cat 23 this offer might make sense 12 months you'll get additional three months adds up to 15 24 months additional three months right so therefore if you're looking at cat 22 and cat 23 this offer might make sound sense there right this might make some sound sense and whenever you're using this feel free to use the code belvi 100 you are doing anything on the academy platform if you're following me try to follow with this particular code will be 100 yeah big surprise that is there is a cat mega combat that is happening there are about 250 top 250 participants will be given the lucky draw solid which can be the oceans or it can be the uh, timers or it can be some of the gadgets etc try and be there on august 29th at 12 so this might help you all right this you just exhibit what you know who knows all right probably you might be the lucky one lucky one out there yeah so if you are still in the college just in case you are in the college you can enroll for campus ambassador program so, so so as you enroll you will understand that what are the constraints what is the expectation so along with that so so you will also get the incentives so monetary incentives some incentives you will get and the certification from an academy as well which can be projected at later stage in your life and you will also get some goodies on the gadgets so try and check out for this particular feature yes here we go and that brings to the end of my announcements as well okay jaijit says shall i try topic wise test or full length test now okay uh, so i was telling in one of the lectures one of the strategic lectures unless you finish 50 percent of the sectional syllabus right this to you jaijit unless you finish 50 percent of sectional syllabus minimum 50 percent of qa should be covered basics i'm saying basics minimum 50 percent of dilr should be covered minimum 50 percent of varc should be covered unless you cover 50 percent don't go for the full length mock till that particular time so you focus on the chapter wise mocks or sectional box right so that would be the thought process you need to finish about 50 percent then you'll be at least in a position to handle some of the box right and then the mocks start adding value to you otherwise less than 50 percent see sometimes what happens is based on your backgrounds right yeah based on your backgrounds you may be naturally very very good in vrs Right, you are coming from a psychology background or as a history, economics, that kind of background. You are a voracious reader. It may be already good, which means from CAT perspective, you are already at 85 percentage of your preparation. But QA can be weak. If QA is weak, then probably already you bring it to 50 percent plus before you go on to tackle the full length mark. Jaijit, it is clear. Along with Jaijit, this tip might have helped somebody else also. Yeah, this might have helped also. Kevin, the schedule should have been already put up on the YouTube channel. If you are following me, so it should be already available there. What I'm doing tomorrow or so, or by tonight, it should be available. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow I'll be doing about the variation. You want to understand at 10, I will be doing variation. Well, at variation is what we'll be talking about. There are five types there. There are five types. I'll be quickly illustrating all five types which come in the exam. Okay. That's the schedule for tomorrow. That's in the late night okay all right there we go see you tomorrow all right good night all of you keep working hard stay safe stay fit
Okay, today's topic is over, Mohit. Are you still in the hangover of your gym? It's over for today. It is done. Okay, that's it. That's all which is there in the removal replacement. Nothing much. Done. Plus classes will be longer. When we are on the plus, it will be two, two and a half hours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. Cool. All right. I'm closing the meeting. So see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night.